this episode of finno ugric machining uh, we are going to deal with the um, uh, with the automatic transmission uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, feed transmission I mean and uh, the uh, feed uh, variator and uh, that kind of housing which is sitting there and uh, this is the second floor of this uh, <laughs> this um, machine and uh, uh, this will uh, probably be a multiple uh, uh, episode uh, mission uh, because uh, this is very big uh, well it all depends what I find under the covers it could also be a little bit less but let's start with that we are dealing uh, with the things mm, under here uh, first we are going to remove these covers and before we can do that I will clean up here so if uh, a miracle has happened and there is uh, no dirt in there so we don't uh, hmm, uh, insert new dirt there okay and I will show you how to remove the cover. It uh, should be easy, but who never knows. Now I'm uh, unscrewing uh, all these uh, screws from this side, which I can reach. It's very important uh, not to miss, uh, not to lose these. So, and uh, try to get them. out without damaging them. It's not so easy every time. Uh, okay. Mm, this is tight. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> okay. You get the idea. I will unscrew these uh, the rest of this side of the camera. And now, when all screws from this side are off, we move this to the other extreme position and see if we can find more. Or if, okay, that's the extreme, and then we just uh, unscrew every, everything in this side. Okay, uh, removed all the screws and now uh, I have already started a little bit. Uh, this uh, requires uh, quite some persuasion and a lot of uh, solvent there because there was some uh, grind, uh, grinding dust or whatever under there. But uh, you cannot just uh, draw it. But you can use the mill itself uh, for this purpose. Uh, like this. It will come out like this. One hole at a time. And it will be easier and easier every time you do this. I believe we are very near now. There you can see what the uh, light the uh, inside comes by hand. Okay, now it's coming by hand. Okay, I can take this out. <coughs> but then I can, yes I can. Just need to put it there. There you are. Oh, so, we have rust here. This mill has been sitting somewhere outside in a wet place. Uh, well, uh, why was it so tight? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Okay, anyway, I will uh, go on from here. Uh, if you look into these gears, uh, you can see that here is a shiny part and here is uh, nothing. 
So, uh, well, uh, this is because, let's move over here, this is uh, the high gear, low gear, and as you can see, it stumbles into there. Okay, and now when we look into here, it should go farther, much farther. Uh, well, uh, maybe one centimeter. And, uh, well, and from all the pictures I have seen, this is not the correct uh, orientation of this lever. It should be 45 degrees here under. It should be pointing down now and up. So this is uh, the orientation when it is in high gear and then uh, the other one is the low gear here, 90 degrees. Well, <coughs> that has to be fixed. Uh, it's just, uh, I believe, when I take this out, uh, three screws, I can do that uh, <coughs> from there. And then, by looking inside here, when I get this to the other end, by the way, this one doesn't seem to have backslash at all. And that's really nice. So, for... Okay, there you go. There is still some rust here, uh, but let it uh, be there. Other than that, this compartment seems to be quite clean, actually. It's bone dry, but it's clean. And uh, the cover that's coming here, the aluminium cover, uh, doesn't need to be tight because the oil is uh, running. Here is a space where the excess oil can run out. So <coughs> it is my belief that this is an uh, oil pump. Uh, no. Well, it must be oiled anyway. And, uh, well, and why is this empty? I have to look if the drain plug, for example, is there. <laughs> That's one very good reason, and so on. So, I haven't found it yet. Uh, I believe it's under this, uh, this cover. So, I will come back uh, when I have found that. <coughs> well, I didn't find the uh, oil drain plug, uh, but I guess we'll know soon enough uh, if it leaks. And then, furthermore, uh, let's see if I can. Okay, I did an adjustment on this. Now it's not when it's in engaged fully, it will not uh, stumble into this one. I think it should, could be a little bit more even lower, but uh, now it leaves a uh, decent space there. And uh, well, <laughs> the scale uh, uh, doesn't match with the position uh, orientation of that uh, lever, but uh, I think it's more important, uh, important that uh, the, uh, it works than uh, that it uh, uh, so correct uh, here uh, on the um, user interface. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is now really good. Uh, next step: add oil. I guess uh, we know soon enough if it uh, really leaks. The oil pump is pumping oil. Let's see how it looks. How long can I have? A little bit more to go. There you are. Almost. 
wants the whole liter. There. And it is pumping. Well, there is one bearing in the motor which uh, also needs to be oiled <coughs> down here. Which, which probably isn't oiled, it's greased and that's bad. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> okay, let's here. Ha! It made some difference in the sound, didn't it? <coughs> you should oil your bearings. <laughs> Let's see if the oil is coming here too. Yeah, it is. Dripping as it should. I will show you that. This is where it should be dripping. And now it is dripping. Let's see how well this one fits into here. Uh, I have now tried to clean it up really good. So it should just slide in there. Yeah, nice. Ha. Okay, I have all the screws in uh, in gasoline. I have to get them and then put them into place. Okay, now I did put it together, and I have been squirting. A lot of oil in uh, diverse uh, nibs which uh, are present in this machine and therefore we have uh, some oil coming here and there but now I know which is which and uh, <coughs> well if you look under here uh, I have been putting quite a lot of oil into there so this one uh, now drives out uh, uh, Vaseline, the grease. And furthermore, we have this dripping system here. It's dripping. Okay, and now the sound of this uh, is quite okay. It's not loud. And uh, everything works just fine. And uh, also the stop system, now they are really easy to move around. Um, for example, this one works like that. It will stop when uh, it reaches the point. So, <laughs> and um, this doesn't leak. There is same amount of oil as yesterday. And uh, yeah. Furthermore, this does not leak, uh, which is a very good thing. So, what's next? Well, cleaning up uh, the, the whole vertical uh, that thing here is uh, in need of some, uh, yeah, clean. And then this one should be inspected and uh, um, well, you can actually lift it like this. And uh, you are supposed to oil it uh, somewhere there. And then these uh, oil drips here, coming from there, are because I squirted a lot of oil into there. <laughs> well, it stops at some point, I know. Furthermore, I'm really satisfied with this one. This was all about the uh, gears and uh, the automatic feed. Uh, well. Uh, the oil I used in there is, uh, well, uh, that. And uh, this is uh, intended for uh, gearboxes. And it's uh, not the heaviest one, it's uh, 
a little bit uh, liquid because this oiling system operates with gravity. There is a pump that pumps it uh, up and then it uh, flows in, in, in a channel and drips everywhere where oil is needed. And now if the oil is a little bit stiff, oh well, it doesn't work so well. So, but this one uh, seems to be okay uh, for this one. The viscosity is uh, okay. So, um, well, uh, next uh, time we will be dealing with the cleanup of the vertical movement. Uh, and after that, there is a big, big cleanup operation. And uh, well, I don't reveal it. Uh, some of you already know. Uh, well, the coolant tank. Uh, the backside is uh, done and okay, but the front. That's in a very bad shape. Uh, it's filled with the same stuff I, we have found, been finding everywhere in this machine. Uh, well, I think I have been removing at least two kilograms of uh, aluminium chips out of this machine. Uh, I don't know why they stored these aluminium chips. Maybe they were using this machine as a trash bin. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is all for today, so until next time, see you!